being here today is a culmination of a process that has taken some time. Some would say too much time, um, but it does take time to live those awkward uh, group hangouts that our friends tried to set up for us, uh, those long evening conversations that left us both covered in mosquito bites, and most importantly, it takes a lot of time to develop an entire language using the word nasty. <laughs> that really the two of us only know. So through those times, we've both shared countless laughs, unique experiences, and personal moments that have led me to fall in love with you and hopefully understand you. <laughs> You're the most caring person I've ever met. You've got warmth and love to share in spades. You know, you have so much love that even I, who you generously uh, describe me as aloof, um, have gotten a little bit better at expressing it with my family and friends. You never cease to make us both laugh, whether it's your silliness, your well-timed jokes, and even begrudgingly, your puns. I know the times I have spent with you never fail to make me smile, and I love you all the more for it. Growing up, my understanding of love was sourced in Bollywood. Shah Rukh Khan taught me that an elaborate setup, musical dance sequence, dramatic challenging over, uh, obstacle overcome, and a grand gesture was the recipe to the perfect romance. Mine and Vivek's Prem Kahani fits that framework. Thanks to our, own, our very own Indian matchmaker friend Nicole, we endured an elaborate setup with, like Vivek mentioned, an awkward Italian dinner, followed by months and months of our mutual friends pushing us together, trying to help us see how much we actually liked each other. Early in our relationship, I also convinced Vivek to participate in our Diwali dance, so there was a dance number. And the process of couples matching into residency was the greatest among all the challenges that tested and demonstrated the resolve of our bond. And while Vivek never chased after me at the Southwest Gate, I have to admit that the countless airport drop-offs, chocolate chip pancake breakfasts, regular flower bouquets, and more importantly, his willingness to drop everything in a heartbeat to help me with my newest project or issue certainly all count as grand gestures, as does his scavenger hunt that he did for our proposal at my favorite part in St. Louis. In all seriousness, Vivek, I feel so lucky to have met you, to have gotten to know you, and to have fallen in love with you especially because we are both very deliberate individuals. It's crazy to realize that each and every one of our decisions brought us to brought our paths to cross in St. Louis, Missouri. I have to admit that within our first few interactions, I was instantly charmed by your goofy smile and your voluminous hair. Uh, and beyond that, I felt like we just so easily clicked. I could talk to you for hours and hours, sharing my stories, thoughts, and opinions as my authentic self, which you warmly met with your own slightly longer stories, thoughts, and opinions. <laughs> Spending time with you really just makes me so happy, and even after the most tiring, challenging day, it makes me smile to think that I get to share a meal in your company. Speaking of meals, I love that you and I share a passion for cooking and experiencing food, 
I love that you, the more calculated technical chef of our pair, bring your precision and attention to every delicious meal you make. He's perfected the pizza now. <clears throat> Even though you never quite put my level of garlic and red pepper in your concoctions, I love that you're almost as competitive as I am, and are a worthy opponent in games of heck, splendor, banana grams, and tennis, and that you handle losses with far more grace than I usually do. I love that you are somehow simultaneously one of the most intelligent and humble individuals I know. I'd literally be lost without your sense of direction. I promise to stand by you and support you in your life, and like you said, to celebrate the highs and endure the lows that time brings. Vivek, I love you from the bottom of my heart, and I promise to always do so.